Cool. Ready? Yeah, All right, let's go then. Um, today we're going to introduce you to a new product. Um, in fact, we're showing it to you today, but it hasn't been released yet. And here it is. Jaws Powerlifting Knee Sleeves. So Jaws Power Knee Sleeves. Um, it's probably a must-have item now, knee sleeves. I think second to a belt, as most people would go for a knee sleeve. There's lots of similar knee sleeves and there's a couple of different designs. There are some exceptional knee sleeves out there. Um, particularly, given we're in the UK, there's some UK manufacturers. Uh, we shouldn't say their names, but they make some bloody good sleeves. What we've done, um, perhaps if I say the provenance of why we've made these, then it'll give you some idea. So we work a lot with the BPU and the WPC, um, and it was Mike Sweeney at the WPC asked us for the pro worlds if we could supply them with some knee sleeves we don't sell knee sleeves currently although many people here you can see our showroom is a working gym so we've got lots of power lifters lots of bodybuilders lots of strong men so lots of people use knee sleeves but we don't sell them um so he asked us if we would provide them with knee sleeves and we declined the offer because we didn't just want to make some general product uh, so what we decided was to look at the pros and cons of existing sleeves, what we liked about them, what we didn't like about them. So Jack, who's recording, is a 150 kilo strongman. So Jack goes for like the larger sizes and they're a straight leg. So a lot of the powerlifting specific ones, and that's what we're looking at with the WPC, a lot of powerlifting specific ones have a straight leg. The idea being is it offers more rebound. So you have a lot of gathering of material at the back in order to try and push someone back up. I'm not a fan of that because then I find it makes the sleeve more uncomfortable. So I prefer a contoured design, more like the sports sleeves where they're a bit contoured. But then to a degree, you lose a bit of that rebound. So it's like, right, without reinventing the wheel, how do we make a sleeve which is gonna have rebound properties is going to be tight, is going to be contoured so you can wear it for other exercises and also we're going to be looking at not only the rebound but having a full length because a lot of the sports supports which I like then they tend to be a lot shorter so they're not going to give you that assist that you might want in a lift. So anyway that's the provenance of the sleeves and then what we came up with. So here they are, take them out of the box I've been daring because I've gone for a medium. Now, the size guys on, on here, most people that most companies that supply knee sleeves, the size guide is good. They don't want you to return their sleeves, so it's sensible. So far, everyone in the gym who we've had trying these, we've measured them up first and they've been spot on. Uh, for me, I'm borderline medium and borderline large. So a comfort fit would be a large, but let's say I'm gonna compete, then all day long I'm gonna go for a medium. So I've been a bit daring and I've got a medium out. So let's put them on. Because we all know that any power lifter's gonna have a, a sleeve as tight as possible. So whatever remit you fit in on our size guide, I recommend that that's what you go for. We do have a big size range, and although I've said about Jack being 150 kilos, it's got very big joints as well. Uh, so currently in these sleeves, I think he's got a 5XL up, upstairs. Our double XL is very tight on Jack. So if Jack was competing, he'd probably wear the double XL. Is that fair to say, Jack? He's nodding. Okay. So I try not to put them on like a sock because that's going to make it even more difficult. Let's pull them up. And there we go. Right, so already you've spotted that they perhaps look a bit different because of the design that we've got going on at the sides. It is more than just a design. So it's not contravening any of the rules of, of making sleeves. But what we've done is part of the design is have increased stitching. So in effect, the sides of the knee, so around the MCL and around the LCL, taken on board what you would have in a brace. So these aren't orthopedic in any way, but 
taken on board what you would have in a brace of in a squat is a linear movement so if you if say you've got an mcl or an lcl or even an acl injury then people in their recovery wear a brace so the idea of this is not a brace as such but it does stiffen up these areas and by making this area that much stiffer is overall the sleeve hasn't got so much give so although it's contoured and we're going to lose the gathering at the back of the knee when my knees flex as you can see i've hardly got any gathering there is a hell of a lot of tension where the knee, where the sleeve is that much stiffer okay so the difference don't help that i'm wearing a trainer on one foot and not the other so let's whip this trainer off so the difference is huge as i do a squat there between one leg and the other is this I would be so confident in doing a much greater squat. And having worn other sleeves, I can feel the resistance already, but it's not uncomfortable in any way. These are premium quality as well, because we have burnt through a few samples. We were extremely worried. As you can imagine, with the additional stitching, is this harder to make? Um, so, it is, from a production point of view, it's coming up with a suitable template where we're not gonna have too many spoils and also we're not gonna have sizing issues. Um, I think we've nailed it. Uh, and we also didn't wanna sacrifice the quality. If we're gonna make a sleeve for powerlifting, then it needs to be premium quality. So if we have a look on here at this stitching, so if you come in, Jack, oh, you can see the label with the material makeup. So if you have a look at the stitching here, of the zigzag it's extremely high quality stitching so it's not bothering me in any way it's not itching it's not irritating me and as you can see these are going to last a hell of a long time because of the quality of it got a jazzy lining on there as well okay so let's just take that off you can see the lining again and the stitching um i think that's pretty much everything you're going to want to know is from a rebound point of view we've gone for uh what we deem as positives without the negatives look for these soon at a bpu or wpc event um because they've gone down extremely well in the gym so far um more so than we thought we kind of thought that yeah they're comfortable but they're tight so we're going to have power lifters favor them but um with my training partner for example he's preparing for the the world masters bodybuilding and he's been wearing these every leg session he's having punishing sessions so yeah so far so good hope you like them